Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Monday Sit Rep. It's Air Force Osprey week. We've got that uh, as a restock pre-order hitting BrickMania.com this morning. Uh, we got the completed model with us with all of its printing and glory along with some of those cool add-ons that we've got there as well. So we're going to take a thorough look at that today and dive on in. All right, so like I said in the intro, today's episode is going to be all U.S. Air Force Osprey. So what you're seeing here is the completed bundle uh, that includes that LTATV add-on as well as the PJs. But today we're going to dive on into the kit, take a little closer look at this completed build, and uh, check out some of the features. Now, as you can imagine, this is a very big kit, so I will do the best I can to showcase some of the durability um, that it features. But I wanted to start off with checking out some of these printed elements, because I don't think we've had a chance to check out just how extensive the printing is on this new build. It is mostly similar from side to side, um, and there are still some stickers included, but I believe those are just for different uh, tail number options. Pretty much all of the basic details um, and everything that was would be standard across various Ospreys in the Air Force is indeed printed on this build. Okay, and the cockpit opens up easy enough. I'm trying to showcase all of the printed instrument panels we have going on in there, so I did take one of the pilots out. But as you can see, just a couple of studs holding that together, so easy enough access to have your pilots going in and out. And just an incredibly intricate instrument panel. Look at that, it keeps going by slam. I'm sure there's some excellent Easter eggs hitting, hidden within those screens. Functions-wise, everybody loves to see the... Uh, the motors when they spin, I believe this one does have room for it to be motorized. And obviously that axle connection allows both of those to spin like they should. Some working flaps and ailerons back here as well and on the rear. We got some landing gear covers and then of course this ramp here in the back. The mounted machine gun. I know it's kind of tough to see but there is one of our crewmen manning it right now. Here's a little look at it. Semi-stowed. I, I didn't tilt the engines or, or fold in the rotors, although it is able to do that. Um, and then all you got to do is remove this piece from this chunk here where you see those colored bricks, and that's what allows it to, uh, to rotate freely back and forth. Whoops, almost bumped the camera there. But as you can see, that just kind of slides into place. This is tough to do while holding a camera, but then you click that back down and you're good to go. The cockpit printing is just epic from everything from the flurs to the window details and everything in between just really adds a lot of detail to this build. It says beware of blast but it should say beware of having a blast while building this kit. All right I'm sorry I'll stop. Taking a look at our minifigures here we got a crew of four included with this kit uh, but one of them was really really built in there so I only have three here to showcase. We got both pilots out uh, and then one of the crewmen as well. They all come with those uh, awesome custom created elements, but I wanted to give you a closer look at some of the face artwork as well. So I got two of them with their helmets just sitting next to each other. Otherwise, just a nice little showcase of some artwork, some good variants in there, and uh, one heck of a detailed crew. And moving on to our optional add-ons available with this pre-order. This is the LTATV uh, with a pair of CCT operators. Does include everything you see here. So you get the build, you get both operators and both of those perfect caliber brick arms that are included there as well. Just like with the crew, I got one of the guys with their helmets off. So you can take a little closer look at the uh, face artwork we got going on there. Otherwise, this build is just awesome. I mean, it's nice and sturdy. There's plenty of room to add other minifigures. It's definitely a build that if you've got your own parts, you can replicate multiple of them from the, uh, from the instructions that you get included. And then uh, those minifigures, I mean, man, do you even need to say anything more about those? Custom created and UV printed headgear, the uh, buildable brick arms that have received the perfect caliber treatment, um, and then just some epic artwork. I mean, look at that head artwork. That's awesome going in there as well. So like I said, you get everything you see here with that LTATV add-on. Uh, let's take a look at the PJs. Okay, and I know we showcased this duo just recently, but uh, we're doing it one more time because like I said, it's Osprey Day today. 
Um, and I should say, I know these have been available standalone along with the LTA TV, uh, but if you don't have them already and you're planning on getting an Osprey, I highly, highly recommend selecting all those upgrade options just because this entire bundle, it's like if you're already investing that much capital in order to get it, uh, get the kit itself, having all the little extras to go along with it uh, really, really make it a complete set. It's cool to see how all this stuff integrates. And obviously, uh, you increase your mock potential quite a bit there when you're able to build some of these guys into those unique settings. And uh, that's really cool to see. But otherwise, for the PJs themselves, just like the CCT operators, you do get everything you see here. So that's both of the fast helmets, both of the minifigures, obviously, and then those uh, perfect caliber brick arms that we got rocking there as well. So here it is, just one more time, the full shebang, everything that you get if you get the entire bundle with all of the optional add-ons, minus the uh, one crewman who's still stuck up in the fuselage. But like I said, it's an excellent build, uh, very playable if you choose to do so. Otherwise, you know, like I said, if you get this full bundle, you've got plenty of mock material uh, in order to start up whatever build you're looking to conquer next. And remember, just like we did with the Marine variant, uh, these are all limited runs of kits. Uh, so once we have move on to the next variant, uh, this one will be discontinued. So if the Air Force one is on your list, make sure you pick that up promptly uh, because it's hard to say exactly when this will no longer be in production anymore. So when it's available, take advantage because uh, when it's not, there are, are, there's a chance it may not return. All right, Brick Maniacs, that'll do it for me here on a Monday. Make sure to take advantage of those track links both in stores and online while supplies last. Otherwise, we'll check on in later this week. Thank you very much for watching.